I get asked all the time, where is Summer Wells? And throughout all my readings, when I've asked that, I get the Rose card. So she's in the 5D with Rose. Okay. I get the Mountain card. Well, we have the Wells Mountain basically there. I get the Garden card. So they've planted flowers. They've had a ceremony. And I get the Ashes to Ashes. But we're going to start at square one. And tonight, it's all about, was this an accident or was it planned? I have all kinds of questions and all kinds of things that people have asked. Like, people want to know, is it possible summer's in a septic tank? I mean, we're getting desperate for answers here. We have to be strong enough to dive deep and face some of these really hard questions. Um, but I'm hoping we can find out more answers tonight. So what I've done is a work in progress, and I invite you to join me. If you're new to our channel, <laughs> welcome. I hope you realize this is not how I normally sound. I have a little bit of a head cold. I'm returning from a little illness for a week, and so I'm not completely up to par, but I am so delighted you're here. I was just looking at that and I'm like, is that just on the screen or me? I'm not quite used to this. Faith sent us this. Is this not beautiful? Himalayan salt lamp. Anyway, thank you again for that. I love it. Um, with that, if you are new, welcome. We are a true crime tarot community and we work every day to spread the awareness out there about the missing, whether we're keeping their name alive or we're sharing information about them from posts all over the place. We're a huge community. And our family, they they travel all over. They're part of other groups too. But when we come together here, it's all about the energy that we have with intent for the highest good of Summer Wells. And we focus only on our case and nothing else. And if you are new, welcome back. Welcome home. I missed you guys. Again, I am delighted to be here with you all. I feel so blessed by all the love and energy you guys just literally bathed me in TLC while I was sick. And to know that I had such a loving group behind me, it just warms my heart so, so very much. With that, let's go ahead and look at the mess I've got on the board. Okay, y'all. <laughs> it's always like, welcome to my lab, right? So I've tried to write down questions that you guys have. Like the things I hear most often. And um, we're going to get cards on each one to understand better what exactly aligns with the cards okay in hopes to find summer what has happened to her where is she right but before we do that i've got this little candle lit for summer we're going to move that right ahead that will stay lit the entire reading for her and her highest good and with this this is my little brass bowl and i would kindly ask if you have your headphones on please slip them off I purposely ring this pretty loudly because it resonates a frequency, a true natural organic frequency that we're tuning into. It's all about frequency. So if you are like, wow, I found you, what does 1111 mean? It means you're manifesting justice and you're stepping through a portal of trying to understand truth in your life. And that's why you're drawn here. Because we are all joining that frequency. All right, my lovelies. Archangel Michael, Archangel Raphael, Archangel Gabriel, thank you kindly for my blessings. Archangel Michael, please hold my hand as I walk through the tarot. 
protect me from all spiritual, physical, and any other means of weapons that they shall not prosper against me. Archangel Raphael, thank you so humbly much for the blessings of healing that you sent through my body and continue to bring me strength to recover. And also, I ask that you put a healing towards everyone, that their hearts be healed as we receive justice for summer in 2022. I ask my faith to be strengthened on this request. Archangel Gabrielle, I thank you kindly for the clarity that you are about to bring. As I ask the questions, I ask to see the truth clearly, to speak the truth clearly and only the truth. I thank you all for the blessings, the abundance, the protection, and the guidance. And yes, I know it's Archangel for you new people. Um, I just happen to have a hard time. I get tongue-tied, if I say it correctly, with Arc. And so since I was little, I was told that my angels know who I'm talking to. I can say it my way. <laughs> All right, lovelies, let's go. Okay, accidents or planned. That is the biggest thing. This child is gone. There was either an accident or it was planned. It was one or the other, right? So let's go ahead. And that may narrow down a lot of the questions that we need to ask. This is a Lightseer's deck. This will be the deck that we mainly use, just simply because this is the energy that I was glowing toward. I was going to say drawn toward, and I, I literally heard glowing. So we have lovers, and we have five of wands. This is a decision, which it can't be a decision with an accident. It's communication and strife. So I need to understand this better. We know for a fact we have gotten the lover card how many billions of times. And we have to ask the real question. Show me this lovers. Show me the energy of the lovers. Son. That could be seen as one of the children. There are three sons in this. And what is this? And now remember, lovers can be a family member. It is simply an attachment to somebody that is familiar to you. Okay? Does not mean phallic. Just so you know. In the tarot, it means attached in a family way. Queen of Pentacles. All right. So we know that the Queen of Pentacles is one of the lovers. Somebody that's at the time feels steady and within their power. They are in their own power. Who's this other lover? All right. So we've got the Knight of Swords, the Death, and the King of Pentacle. Oh my God. Oh my God. We're about to hit the truth train coming through, whether it comes through right now or not. What I'm about to show y'all is going to answer a lot of damn questions that we've had for a very long time. Yes, right questions. You get the right answers. We have the King of Pentacle. We have the Queen of Pentacle. That is a married couple. That is mom and dad. They've been there for the whole time. See dad with the dog? Chuck just Jake breaked or whatever you call it on the... They are the lovers. So it's a decision by the pair. There's argument and conflict between mom and dad. I've got the sun. I see this as legitimately the sun. One of the boys. We keep getting the story. And they are protecting him. And it is a decision. Why? 
because there was a death. This was an accident by a brother. No matter how I play this, no matter how many times I ask, the cards never change. They are consistent that there was an accident. The parents are protecting the son. It's right there. Let's walk it one more time. King of Pentacle with the dog. We know they have dogs. Queen of Pentacle. Divine counterparts. King and Queen of Pentacle. They are married in the 5D, the 3D. They are partners. Lovers. They have a choice between lovers. Remember, it's a choice between family. It's a choice between this connection. This is not necessarily Candace and H. This is lovers as in your children can be seen as your lovers. Okay, I know that sounds strange, but this is not meaning lovers phallic. It's like the, okay, we'll just keep going. There is a fight between these kids. Look, and there is discontent between the parents is why. Because the children are marrying, mirroring the male and female counterparts. They are protecting this is the Nine of Wands. It literally means protecting your beginning, how far you've come. It's protection of what you've got. What are they protecting? The sun. Why? Because of the death and the rebirth. And do you see that outside picture? So a lot of people say, well, Summer was seen on a camera. Where? TBI hasn't shared that. I'd love to see where somebody can prove to me this summer. I would appreciate it greatly. Where she was seen on a camera somewhere. There was an accident. So, it's with the brother. Now we got to figure out how this happened. Let's get a drink and let's check this off. Okay, so we're going to cross off plan. <laughs> Let's grab a drink. And we've got all of this. So, where do we start? <coughs> Excuse me. We're going to start in the basement where Mom talked about Summer being. That is the story. Is that Summer was in the basement playing with her toys. Right? Basement. Four of Wands. Divinely aligned. 1111. Single energy. Alone. My Empress giving birth to the world. About S.A. And a decision gets made about working. Aha. Uh -huh. Hmm. That aha uh -huh moment. So, Eight of Pentacles is all about working something, mastering something over and over again. It's about doing your job. So somebody made a decision about doing their job and they were like, I have this ace of wands. It can be seen as a phallic symbol. They made a decision about their job and they got this aha moment. So let's relook at this. So this is commitment. It's after marriage. It's family. The Four of Wands can be seen as three boys and a girl, each being the wand. It, it can be seen as home life. 
I have the single energy. Just like mom was saying for the basement. And I have the empress. So I have a single energy and the empress. The empress to me is always summer. So this single energy comes down to summer. And they make a decision about business with their wand. Okay. Let me see what the swimming hole says. Oh, jeez. Page of Pentacles, something new. Nine of Swords. It's all about being in your mind, a nightmare. And holding back. It's an offer for something new. But it, it puts someone in a nightmare. And then you see it with the... Hold on, guys. Something's being held back. About the swimming hole that is a nightmare offer. This is an offer and it turns into a nightmare and somebody holds back and it's pinnacle and we have the queen of pinnacles so it's got to be Candace holding this back. It's this nightmare about this offer. So she's got something at the swimming hole she isn't sharing. Either it didn't happen the way she said or it didn't happen that day, or it, it's something wrong with the story about the swimming hole. All right, let's continue. Ben Hill Road. Show me the energy of that with Summer Moon Utah Wells and her disappearance, her getting gone. Oh, boy. Now, remember, we have Beach Creek and we have Ben Hill. Now, Beach Creek, I believe, runs in front of them. Ben Hill is after you go down the dog trail, you end up on... No, I'm wrong. I'm totally backwards. Ben Hill is right at the end of their driveway. Yes. Beach Creek is if you follow the dog trail, I believe you come out on Beach Creek. I hope I got that right. Okay, if not, somebody please kindly, gently correct me and make sure the right info gets out there. All right, we're on Ben Hill. We have the Knight of Swords, the one I've been tracking through every reading. This is that rash, quick, chasing that dirt bike. Right? You see it. It's in and out energy, that Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords is swift energy. There's not a lot of decision to be made left because this person is so quick at action, they haven't even given a second thought. And there's an accident about to happen. He's chasing that motorcycle that got away from him. Now remember, these kids all have dirt bikes. Chris McDonough himself qualified, verified that Don Wells went on and on about no matter how fast these little bikes went with these kids, these little 50 cc's or whatever, 70 cc, that Summer was hot foot right behind him and keeping up. She that knoweth but does not speak of, there is a secret. The universe called judgment that day. And it left everybody stuck right where they were. Two of swords, or I'm sorry, two of wands, not being able to really move forward, but knowing what you want and having to make a decision. So that's what lovers is about, making that decision. What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? Whoa, right? Six of Swords, the decision was to move from, when you look at the Six of Swords, it's Hurricane Island. This person gets in a boat. And look, the Death Crows 
drag the boat in this card. And they move her to common ground. So the decision is to try to go to common ground from Bill Hill Road. Because of this Knight of Sword, he's rash, he's quick, he does something. What is it? I see a dirt bike. Literally, judgment is called. What judgment? Somebody had to make a decision to move this to common grounds, and they did. Why did they? Because they're protecting the sun. Let's go to Beach Creek. So that's right at Ben Hill. Beach Creek Road. Now this could be, this is Cotton Blind area. This is the Creek Road, but this is the road road, the actual road. We're going to do the other part in a minute. Let's see. Okay, thank you. So we have, oh, another card flipped up. What is that? Ace of Pentacles. There is something that has to do with Beach Creek. There's a piece of evidence. That's that Ace of Pentacle that he holds in his hand. It's a piece of evidence at Beach Creek. This is where Don went first. He didn't go to the house. You know, he went on Beach Creek Road and had it up to another. He had to, go. He had to travel across Beach Creek. Magician. Something manipulated there. What was manipulated on Beach Creek? Giving to two stories. Six of Pentacles giving to two. Huh. Ace of Swords clarity. All right. So Beach Creek, there are two stories. We're going to come back to all of this. So hold tight. Oh, we're leaving them like that. All right. Trying to follow. Okay. I want to understand. What happened here? Even though I got that dirt bike, we're still going to walk it. We're going to leave hit by a dirt bike right here at the end. We're going to start here. Overdosed. A lot of people believe that. Okay, I'm being told to get a different deck. Okay, we're going to use the field deck. Brand new tarot deck. Might get some of these same cards. Overdosed. Was this child overdosed? Was Summer Wells overdosed? The Hermit. She was at her home. The Hermit is somebody that is quiet. They're following their own inner light. So I'm not sensing it, but we'll ask again. Within the home, was she overdosed? Within the home... Was she overdosed? What is this candy that Grandma gives her? Or does she drink the Fanta? Was she overdosed? I have the Prince of Sword. <laughs> what does this say at the bottom? Determination. The Prince of Sword is like the Page of Sword. Somebody watching. Watching at the home. Now remember. Overdosed. Was somebody watching at the home? We have a watcher at the home. Who's this page of sword with determination? Princess of Wand, exploration. She walked away from the home. There was a witness. They saw her walk away. I mean, we heard it from TVI. People are like, well, you watch the internet and therefore you're just rehearsing. I can't make it up. Hermit means your house. It can mean the top of a mountain too. But in this case, this person is at their home. We're talking about overdosed, right? No, she wasn't overdosed. There's nothing about drugs here. It's showing me this person had determination they saw her. They're the Page of Sword. They are a witness. Page of Sword is a stalker in a way. He can be seen as somebody that witnessed something. They saw her from the home or the home area with that hermit. What did she do? You can see. This is the Princess of Exploration. This is the Princess of Wands. She has traveled. They saw her leave the home. Okay, so they saw her walk away. Someone saw her. There's no overdose in these cards, okay? Not in this reading. Dry drowning. We all know she went to the swimming hole. 
Let's see if she dry drowns according to the cards. Got a big story. Here we go. Whoop. This looks like it's going to be a long reading, y'all. Okay, it may go to two parts if it gets too long. Queen of Cups. Now remember, dry drowning. We have intuition. Your gut feeling. What is this? Princess of Cups. Dreams. Now I'm starting to see we have a pattern. Look at the girls. We have intuition and dreams, which is all about this, how do I put this? Fantasy world. Okay. So fantasy, intuition, dreams. Let's continue. Innocence. Six of cups. Don't let your past hold you back. So this could also mean somebody from your childhood, Hunter, who could be seen as a little dreamy because he's obviously medicated. We know that. Under the counter medicated, if you want to call it. Intuition, Queen of Cups, the seer. Um, what do we have? Seven of Wands, Valor. Somebody standing up for her. Hunter said he pulled her out of the water. Valor. Okay. And then I have isolation. Eight of swords. Mental imprisonment. I'm not seeing it. I'm feeling like he's worried about dry drowning. H. But I don't see dry drowning happy. Okay. Collision with swing and tree. A lot of people have asked me, could she have hit that tree? We've all seen in those pictures, she's crazily swinging, like swiftly. I mean, one time, that big, solid tree. I don't know, y'all. Let's find out. What do the cards say about the collision with swing and tree? I got some answers. Here we go. Let's see what we have. The Hierophant. Commitment. Higher learning. All right. Remember, we're talking about the swing and that tree, summer swing. One of our favorite places, right? Let's go ahead and look at that. Establishment. <laughs> Ten of Pentacles. It's at the house. It's established. She knows that place very good. She's committed to it. She knows that tree like right now. We have the universe. It's part of her world. Whoop. That's some crazy energy. The universe, it's part of a world. You see, this is all seven chakras. Committed, established, the universe. These are huge cards. Oh my God. Judgment. So, it's in favor of what? Three of Wands, Vision. Look at them sticks we always get right around that ball. So she may have been on the swing originally when this started. Because I get the Three of Wands. I get that Judgment card. I want to look at that one more time. So I'm the Hierophant, Commitment. You can all see that as church. But in this case, we're talking about collision with the swing of the tree. So very specifically, with the swing and colliding to the tree, we do have commitment on the table. We also have establishment, something that's been established for a while. She knows the route. It's part of her universe. The judgment, as above, as below, the swan. Again, commitment, a mirrored surface. And then we have this vision, this three of wands, Making a plan. I don't see her hitting this. She like seems to know this route. She seems comfortable. Now. A lot of people want to know about the church. Alright. Let's talk about the church. There's a church. Okay. We got one card. Right? Yeah. Two of disc. 
change out of balance. There's definitely something that changed with that church. They have some involvement. They just do. That landed right on there. Yeah, seven of cups, chalices, or um, choices, sorry. Making the options very confusing. Somehow the church confused the situation. We can give that in another way. Let's see how they confused it. We'll just ask. How did the church confuse the situation with summerwell.god? Thank you. Four of Cups. Ignoring something. Overlooking something. Was it the neglect? For God's sakes. Her Sabbath day teacher was a dental hygienist. How do I say that? Dental hygienist assistant. And didn't notice that Summer needed help. But ready to help mom, right? Get new teeth. How funny. How funny. <laughs> Queen of Discs, mommy. We have that Queen of Pentacles here. That's the same thing as Queen of Discs. It's that Queen of Pentacles married to the King of Pentacles, mom and dad, who are protecting who? The sun. Star. And I kid you not, the lovers, the choice between two. And you can love your kids a lot, but there was a choice made here. Somehow, the church had to make a decision along with them. All right. Cotton Blind Creek area. Did Summer play hide-and-go-seek outside, fall through the cotton blind, possibly into that two feet of water. Boys have to drag her out because there's no adults home because mom's on a run, dad's at work, grandma's sleeping way up at the top of the hill in her little camp where these kids are on their own with Summer. Is it possible that Summer got impelled on those rotten Civil War boards from that cotton blind? Because that cotton blind got torn out after summer. Got gone. Right there at the creek road, right? What do we have? Five of Swords. Defeat. Huh. There was a fight. And somebody got defeated at the cotton blind. All right. Whoa. What is that? Let me understand. There's the Ace of Wands. Energy. There was a force of energy. You can also see that as phallic, but you can see that as a sharp pointy stick as well. Let me understand this cotton blind energy, please. Cotton blind energy and summer wells. There it went. Oh my God. Are you hearing it? Oh my. What do we have all y'all? Queen of Wands. vibrancy queen of wands is somebody that takes charge of their power um, knows their worth stands up for themselves huh fortune the wheel turned when the wheel turns it's the wheel of life something changes forever and there's no way back it's life changing. That's interesting. Three of discs, three of pentacles working together. Three energies working together because of this turning of the wheel. Oh, Jesus. The death card. Jesus, help us all, please. And who shows up? The king. 
just like Don said. There were my three boys. Saw them standing over there. He drove right up with the red Subaru at that, at that cotton blind. He points away from it. He says, there were my three boys, right? Look. Three of Pentacles. There were my three boys all together over there. And he looks over this way where they clear cut all that forestry for the power lines to come in. Right? Good place for kids to play, right? Yeah. Something changed, moved very quickly. What's interesting is I have the Queen of Wands and I have the King of Wands. Uh-huh. And I have the Death card. And remember, we started off this part on this. Okay, let's just go over it. This is a cotton blind at the creek, right? We have this force of energy. Could it be summer jumping, 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 and poof, falling through that cotton blind, then boards thrusting out? Because it was all tore apart. The boards were just shooting out of it all ragged and jagged. Boom, it's torn out after summer's gone. Yet that's where the boys were. That's where his neighbor is. So he looks over, he sees the boys, and he's like, there were my boys all together. Then he looks this way, he sees a cotton blind. He's like, that's old cotton blind. And then I saw my neighbor, and he points just past the cotton blind. And he says, that's when I knew something was very, very wrong. Now, he'd already called 911 before he even got there, and that's the first place he goes. And now he's just now realizing something's very, very wrong. Who's his neighbor? Jody Sue claimed it was her. I heard her say that with my ears. Right out of her own mouth. But I'll bet you money. I'll bet you a lot. There is another person there, a male. And it could be her counterpart. However... Defeat happens. For the King of Wands. The one that's the leader. Interesting. This three of pentacles or three of disc or what do they call it? Yeah, three of disc. It says works underneath. Uh-huh. Right? We turned here, he said. Then he corrected it. He says, we, oh, I turned here. No, I think he says, we turned, I turned here. Yeah. Yet I have the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands, divine counterparts. Who is with him? Because Major Arcana, last Major Arcana in the whole I'm sorry. No. The world is the last major arcana. I thought this was the world. This is the wheel. This is a closed cycle. It's a done deal. The wheel turns. And I have that death card. And that's at the cotton blind. All right. Let's go hit my car. So Summer Wells struck by a car. Energy's in the deck already flipping. Okay, what do we have? Four or five of disc left out in the cold, left alone. What else do we have? Four of swords laying something to rest. With the devil. Toxicity. Huh. Okay. Let me qualify that devil hit by a car. Show that toxicity. Temperance, Archangel Michael, Protector of Children. Okay, what else? Show me that car. 
the icon. The Empress. That's Summer's energy. What about Summer hit by a car? Eight of Ducks. Dedication. Not seeing that. Friendship. Three of Cups, three energies manifested. All right, let me relook at this real quick. Hit by a car. Left out in the cold. Laying something to rest. Toxicity. The Empress. Dedication. Friendship. The Magician. All right. I don't believe it was hit by a car, but there is a friendship here. All right. Because I've got this manifesting friendship and dedication for the Empress. And that's when they're protecting a child. Why? Because we have this, this toxicity that this other's child released. They laid somebody to rest. And now they're the one left out in the cold. I'll let you draw the conclusion as to what that means. So there is a car involved, absolutely. But were they hit by the car? I'm not seeing the collision. I've seen it at the cotton blind. Now let's go to this hit by the dirt dirt bike. Okay, show me this dirt bike. Was Summer Wells hit by a dirt bike? Harmony, Ten of Cups, Emotional Satisfaction. King of Disc, Power. So... Let's qualify that King of Cups and Harmony. The Chariot. The Horse. Power. There's definitely something about a dirt bike here. Boys might have been up on the dirt bike. Boys may have been riding dirt bikes. Were the boys riding a dirt bike when Summer got gone? Oh, justice, yes. So we definitely have something happening with the dirt bike up here. And I also have a question on the cotton blind. Six of Wands, success, and it's in reverse. So it's a no. So far, the cotton blind has it hands down. Now, you guys, here's what we got to do. We're going to switch decks up. I'm going to grab a drink, and uh, we're going to dig into what happened next. Now that we got it figured out, I mean, I'm looking at that cotton blind. Everybody gathered at the creek. Everybody. Everybody. You got the neighbors, you got Don Well, you got all the boys. Candace on a run. Grandma never even came out of a trailer is what it sounds like. She just was like, yeah. I'm not going to help look. <laughs> it's just my grandkid. Right? Wow. Okay. I shouldn't have said that. But that's how I feel. Okay. Going with another deck. New deck. We're going to start with Wells Mountain. Is Summer's body on Wells Mountain? Oh, card fell off the bottom. I got Nine of Cups, which is not a wish fulfillment. It is numbing. There is numbing going on. There's apathy going on on that mountain. Four of Cups, ignoring something. There is huh, Six of Pentacles, sharing. And I'm not sure you want to know the kind I'm thinking. Queen of Swords, some truth there. All right. So I'm not seeing it on the mountain. Let me look at it one more time. Wells Mountain. I got the Nine Cups. Something being ignored. Giving to two. Queen of Swords cuts it out. 
So on the mountain, some, okay, that's what it is. Wells Mountain, here's what happened. There was somebody that was boastful in their own right. They were like, yeah, I'm, I'm the boss here. But they aren't. They don't have tin cups. In fact, they decided to ignore someone and ignore this cup. So the universe was trying to hand off this cup. And this person's like, no, I'm going to ignore that cup. I'm focused on these three cups. And somebody was giving to two. They were spreading themselves too thin. And so they made a decision to cut one out so that they didn't have to focus on this energy. All right. Was she trafficked? Was she injured, then trafficked, or just trafficked? We got a big story. Here we go. So we do have a plan. It's about this Knight of Cups. Somebody that has an attachment. They got that devil energy. Why? Because they want to have the victory. This is recognition. This is, aha, uh -huh, I got a big ego. Look at me. How do I know? Because we go from that toxicity to the victory card where this person gets on a horse. And they're parading through town going, ha, 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 I won. They're not going, yay, we did it. No, because they just showed me they're toxic. They're doing the aha, uh -huh, da, da 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 boo boo. You don't win, I do. Right? Probably that fight. We have the King of Wands. That's that Don Juan energy. It's the king. And then I have the Queen of Cups, which is supposed to be the motherly energy. Numbing, celebrating, of screwing around with other people. Okay. Was she trafficked? Let's look at it again. There is a plan. Okay. Three of Wands. But it's offering a cup of love. All right. And it's toxic. Who offers a key to lo that, that love, that toxic love, is the one that's getting all the attention. Now, it's not Summer getting attention now. Think of who gets attention. Don Juan. So, yeah. And guess who knows? Mommy knows about it. Uh-huh. And she's numbing. So, when it came to trafficking, it turned out to be not trafficked, but more like inappropriate fatherly love. <sighs> cave or wilderness. Is she lost in a cave or wilderness? Is she just off on her own, lost in a... Did she just get lost in the woods? Or did something natural happen? Archangel Michael, protector of children, says no. High Priestess. We'll get a qualifier on that. Is she lost in the wilderness? Went Just randomly went off on her own. Got lost. We can't find her. She curled up in a hole at night because she got scared and didn't know what to do. And I don't know. Did that happen? New perspective. Again, I'm not seeing it. Anything with the wilderness? Ace of Swords, Clarity, no. Okay. Jonesboro. This is where everybody knows that Don Wells was working at the time that Summer Moon Utah Wells was reported missing. Anything at Jonesboro was Summer Moon Utah Wells. Feeling defensive. Seven of Wands. Depending how far you've come. Planting seeds, another seven. Hmm. 
77. Definitely seeds are planted in Jonesboro. There's something planted, whether it's a scenario of an alibi with the red car that allows you to defend yourself at Jonesboro. Oh, but you're going to win at all costs, aren't you, Donnie boy? Uh-huh. What's this seeds planted? Is this an alibi? Yeah. Clarity. It's for the son. It's all for the son. Not the daughter, but the son. He did it. Okay. Where we go, we're going to ask one big whopping question. All right. Abduction by a stranger. Is this an abduction by a stranger? Just somebody randomly new in the basement of this house, way up on the middle of the hill, surrounded by dogs and family and people right on top of her in a dark basement that looks like a dungeon. They knew to do this. Mental imprisonment. Communication. Eight of Wands. Eight and an eight. So we go seven, seven, eight, eight. We're working up to something here. We have forward progress. What is this communication? A sepentacle evidence. There's something. There's something that I don't know what that is. Show me that ace of pentacle. Page of Pentacle. Okay, it's not... It's very young energy there. Very young. Yeah, it's not. It's just a tiff. It's not even real. There, No, I'm not feeling it. Feeling that Page was arguing. With Summer, cremated. Ashes to ashes. Dust to dust. Working. Whoop. Working. Mastery. Eight of Pentacles. With summer cremated, that could be seen as a place of work. A place of business. Working. It could be seen as working. Cremation for summer. Moon Utah Wells. Queen of Pentacles. Explain this, Queen of Pentacles. With summer cremated. Cre okay. The wheel turns and time has changed. Highly possible. Those are two yes cards. With summer cremated, one more time. Clarify third time. With summer cremated. With summer. Nine of Wands, defending how far you've come. I need one more question. With summer cremated. Ashes to ashes, please. And think. Okay, we got the story. Judgment means yes. Oh, well, there it is. Death. With the judgment card and death, major arcana. Judgment means yes. And death card. Cremation. Somebody that knew the page of swords, the watcher. They're holding back. Why are they holding back? It's a nightmare. What is this nightmare? Because summer's the star. And because somebody wanted attention. Are you ready? We're going for it. At this point, I'm seeing cremation, just like I keep saying, ashes to ashes, dust to dust on the mountain and with Aunt Rose. All right, septic tank. Remember, the dog handler said herself, the actual dog handler herself had an interview. I heard it myself quite a few months ago. And she said, don't forget, not only did the dogs alert on the driveway for Summer Wells and all the way down the driveway where it stopped, where the road started, they alerted 250 times plus on that property for summer. Septic tank. 
A summer in a septic tank. Oh, thank you. King of Swords, Law. Three of Swords, Heartbreak. Another three. All right, so we've got, what was it? Seven, seven, eight, eight. Now I'm getting three, three? Are you serious? Seven, seven, eight, eight, three, three. Very weird. I feel there's no coincidence. We have the working together. We have the three energies broken hearted. We have the three energies working together. King of Swords could be seen as the truth seeker working together, cooperating to resolve this heartbreak. It's a stinky offer with the Page of Cups near the home. I'm not seeing septic tank. I am seeing that there is law. King of Swords is law. Is working. Maybe has already checked the septic tanks. But they're heartbroken. They're empty. They have nothing. Because it was a stinky opportunity. And so they pulled back to determine what they can find. So what comes out out of all this is the cremation. Because it has to do with work. Somebody's job. Which cremation does. And I have that original Queen of Pentacles. We've already established it at the beginning. That's Candace. Working with somebody. Who's she working with? Whoever it is, they're turning that wheel. They're clicking it forward and life is never the same. Why? Because they're very defensive they are trying to protect what they have left, which is the Nine of Wands. And it's the judgment call that is decided on. It's the decision made about the death. There is a witness, Page of Sword. And they are holding back. It's causing them a nightmare. Because they saw Summer as their star. Okay. You ready for the bombshell question? Is H the witness? I'm going to grab the Lightseer stack. Is H the witness... Is H the witness? Did he actually go to the Summer's home and witness this? Is H the witness? Page of Swords. That is a witness. That is what I asked. The Page of Swords. The one that saw it. He saw it. He saw it. What did he see? The three energies. Three of cups. What did they do? What did he see? What did he see? What did H see, please? He saw the Queen of Wands. Take charge of her power. What is this Queen of Wands? What did he see after that? The star. He saw Summer as the star. Did he see what happened to Summer? Well, I got the Page of Swords already, so yeah. Look at the stairs leading up to heaven. It's a higher learning path. It's commitment. Wow. Knight of Pentacle. The only knight that finishes the race all the way at the end, no matter what he comes through. No matter what he comes through, that Knight of Pentacle. Is Hunter going to come through for summer? Huh. 
We have the emperor. You can see that is law. Give me a few more cards, please, just to qualify. Seeds are planted. It's taking time. It's the seven of pentacles. All the time he planted. And somebody had a lot of love. A lot of love. And the Knight of Cups. And the Queen of Cups. Perhaps H was actually jealous of Jose as well. I'm just saying. That's all I'm going to get out of it for tonight. I hope this has helped us get somewhere. Um, I mean, the cards themselves determined for me. Huh. Cremation was the outcome. I do feel it was an accident as far as this goes. I'm not seeing the basement, y'all. I mean, there's really nothing here that tells me basement. As far as swimming hole, somebody made up some crap is what it looks like because you have the story that gets you in your head and holding back the truth. Let's look at this one. Ben Hill Road. This is their road. Trying to move to common ground. Actual travel. Making the decision. The judgment was made. <laughs> she that knoweth that does not speak of the secrets about the brother, the Knight of Sword. Yeah. Right there on Ben Hill. However, on Beach Creek, keep in mind, that's right near where the um, cotton blind is. We have the Ace of Swords. Clarity. What's going on there? Two stories. Given to two. Uh-huh. Manifesting. Manipulating. Evidence. Ace of Pentacle. You want to come up here to the cotton blind. At the creek. Where everybody met. Right up the top. I got the death card. Next. We have the wheel. Moving forward. And as I said, when the wheel comes up, it turns and things are not the same again. Queen of Wands. Where is he? And King of Wands. Married couple. <sighs> Suffered defeat. Even though they want to win at all costs. They ended up losing everything on that moment. Why? Because of the three of pentacles. The three energies that worked together. With that phallic symbol of that aha moment. Blessings! Let's get them on the board. Got to get out of this negative energy and get some blessings for beautiful summer. We love you, summer. We really do. All the 1111 online and off family. We, <laughs> off family, offline too. We love you always. We wish you the best and we send blessings to all your loved ones, even the ones you never met that truly do have unconditional love for you, sweetheart. You are our star. Thank you. We'll, we'll take that part of the deck. I can't take it off. Yeah. The volcano, the volatile. Like I said, like the cotton blind just shredding out the bottom. Yeah, this is buried. Only the tip of the iceberg shows. 
Oh, God, there's two feet of water above that cotton blind. That's all. People are like, well, she wouldn't drown in two feet of water. If she fell through that cotton blind and she got internal injuries from parts of that cotton blind that are boards that are rust. Oh, my God, they're rotten since Civil War. And she gets impaled. She isn't going to be okay in two feet of water. And I got that outdoor dragonfly emergence. And it looks to me about like she's in about a little bit of water, right? Her head clearly sticks up. We have to get to where we release this um, equinox. Because the truth was, she was vulnerable out in the meadow at the creek. And that's what caused the spring equinox. You see that winter solstice reflection? And now we have spring equinox rebirth. After death, there is always rebirth. It's going to be a long, dry quest. A hunt for the water in the desert. Unless you know the key. I love you guys. I thank you for being so patient. I just was hoping that we would end the week with more of an idea of the location. Um, I'm really getting cotton blind is what happened. And then I'm getting cremation. And I've gotten that since the beginning. So when you ask me, where is she? She's ashes on the mountain. She's part ashes with grandma taken up to put by Rose. She's ashes, y'all. Explains so much about why Don Wells says, oh no, <laughs> there'll be no evidence. And only he would know that. Why? How could he know that? How could he be so sure? And Candace will tell you. Her words exact were, I know she didn't walk off this property by herself. I don't think she walked off their property at all. She may have went on that road, but it may have simply been for a few minutes when she got back over to the cotton blind. Why else would he have torn down so quick? Why was everybody down at the creek? Including the neighbors. And Don Wells says he really didn't know his neighbors. But oh, he did. You know, I think this was a very sad accident. And I think because of this essay is why this went the way it did. Why Summer Wells got caught. I love you guys to the moon and back. God bless you. If you felt this was a good investment of your time, I appreciate you tapping that like button.